Happy Halloween. When I was in grade three, Pokemon was just starting to become a thing. And it was huge in my school. All the kids loved it, including me, until it got banned because kids were fighting over it. But Pokemon was a big part of my childhood and I really loved it growing up. Since getting into robotics, there's not a ton that's similar to Pokemon. Most of the robots either have wheels or are just robot arms until recently. Quadruped robots are just starting to become a thing. They're a lot more common and a lot cheaper. And they already look kind of like an animal. So that's gonna be a great start for us to make a Pokemon of our own for Halloween. Now this is a different kind of video than what I normally make. It's not gonna be super technical. It's gonna be more artsy, which makes it sound really easy. Hopefully it won't take too, too long. We're gonna be dressing up Max the robot dog. Now this is a Go One from Unitree that is on, it's on loan to me from Indra Robotics in Ottawa. Now looking at the original 150 Pokemon, we weed out all of the ones that don't walk on four legs. Then we weed out all the ones that have really short stumpy legs or really long or are just a completely different shape than Max. Finally, we're left with only a few. Since we're a robotics channel, electricity is kind of a big thing for us. So that really narrows it down to Jolteon. Jolteon was also one of my favorite Pokemon growing up, so it seems like a solid fit. So we finally got everything printed. It took about 200 hours of actual printing time to get this done. I had to borrow another 3D printer just to be able to get it done before Halloween. So what I'm gonna do is just use super glue or CA glue and glue it all together. I'm gonna try to do the important bits first, like the face, the eyes, the ones you're gonna look at the most because 3D printers aren't super accurate so they don't fit together perfectly or maybe the print kind of came off the bed a little bit. So the flat edges are actually rounded, so they're not gonna fit together amazingly. So I'm gonna focus on the important areas first, and then we'll have to fill in all the areas that didn't fit nicely. So Max has four legs, but it's not exactly the shape of a Jolteon. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap it in saran wrap, kind of like a robot condom. Then we're gonna use spray foam and kind of cover the whole thing in a shell. That way we can cut the foam and shape it however we want without actually sticking it directly to Max. Now I'm an engineer, I'm not artistic at all. So I'm actually gonna get my neighbor, Megan, to come over and help me with that.
The spikes around the neck are supposed to be about two inches thick. So I bought one inch foam, cut it in half, I was gonna glue it together. I tried using wood glue, that didn't work at all. So I'm just gonna fall back to a good old Super 77. That should have no problem gluing these together to make them twice as thick. I got this mane glued together last night. It was a giant pain and a lot of me just kind of experimenting, so I didn't really record any of it. But I basically cut these shapes and tried to glue it together, but because my manual cutting is so bad, none of the pieces line up at all. So then I had to put little wedges in there and then use some of the Super 77 to glue it together. And it looks like it worked. This didn't work at all. Uh, it just kind of keeps falling apart. It's not rigid at all. There goes another piece. So I called in a favor to the local machine shop and hopefully I can get a couple pieces cut that fit together a lot nicer. We got all the limbs wrapped in this material. It's not perfect, but it's way better than the hot garbage that it was before. That looked terrible. The color isn't exactly the same as the head, but I actually think because it's fairly smooth material that I should be able to just spray bomb it with the rattle can and should look pretty good. I had a ton of fun doing this project, but it was actually way harder than I thought it would be. There was a ton of little details that I didn't even think of until the end. If you watch channels like Nerd Forge or Adam Savage, they make it look so simple, but that's just years of experience. So consider this a newfound respect for those who do this kind of stuff every day. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Robots are awesome. Thanks for watching. Happy Halloween.